Hello, this time we are giving you a demo of the admin ahead DDoS mitigated plugin for cPanel and this is the version 1.0. Much similar to the DDoS deflate extension which we once had given a demo, this plugin provides with a cPanel friendly interface for the DDoS mitigator along with the multiple features like configuration for the graphical user interface, IP whitelisting features, temporary and permanent IP banning options along with the IP band history. Now let us look at a live demonstration of the whole control panel. As we see when we click on the configuration tab we have the options to set the frequency of sp script execution which will currently set to one minute, the number of permitted connections within the execution time which we have currently set to 30, the time until which the suspicious IPs stay blocked which we have now set to 120 seconds. Finally, we have the option to give the email address to which the notification needs to be sent and the option to enable or disable the plugin feature. The update configuration button allows you to update the changes made in the configuration. Right now, the whitelisted IPs and the temporarily banned IPs are empty. The whitelisted IPs tab allows specified IPs to swerve away from being blocked, while the temporarily banned IPs gather the blocked IPs. The IP band history will have all history of the temporarily banned IPs and gives the option to permanently ban any one at our discretion. It also gives the option to unban the IP. Now in the backend we will simulate connections to our server using Apache Benchmark. Now as you see the connections are simulated. Once this is done, if we look at the temporarily banned IPs, we can see that the blocked connections are here. This might take a couple of seconds to show, but this information will also be available in the IP ban history with a provision to ban as well as unban this permanently. Once you click on ban permanently, you will have the option to unban it. More information about this plugin is available in the admin head knowledge base. Hope this tutorial was helpful and in case of any other questions, you can contact us by clicking on click to chat on our website or mail to us. Thank you.